Hey, what's up guys? Sanch here, uh, and welcome back to the channel. Really appreciate you guys stopping in and, uh, and checking out the video. In today's episode, we're going to be doing some more steel supplements. So I know I had a little bit more of a negative review on the last steel products, but we're going to go ahead and give them another try. And today, to ensure that we have a fairly good review, we are taking two of the steel bollocks this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be pretty good. We're gonna talk about the label afterwards. We're gonna go through it. We're gonna give it a grade, and then we are going to um, tell you guys what I think about it personally. But right now, let's do a flavor test. And it looks like it's already hydrated a little bit on the inside. That's kind of not a good way to start a pre-workout review. Let's go ahead and get into the flavor test. Yep, and just to confirm, yeah, the one package is one serving size, so I'm not about to drop dead. And the flavor is Candy Bliss. Ooh, a lot of foam on the top. Kind of like a candy flavor. It's not bad. Flavor's not bad. It's sweet. Tastes good. It's not like a supplement. It's like juice. Mm. Wanna give that a try? Small sippy sip. It's so thick. Yeah? Uh. <laughs> okay, well, she says it's got like a thick texture to it. I mean, it does have a lot of, a lot of ingredients in it, so it's it does make so sense. Grainy. grainy. Is that a pre-workout? Yeah. I can drink that. All right, guys. That's so that's the flavor. Uh, we're not doing good so far. Um, but we'll see you guys post workout with my opinion on uh, how it helped me with performance. All right, welcome back, guys. Post workout coming right at you guys in today's episode. If you already forgot, we're gonna be doing steel supplements, anabolic. Now this is an intro slash pre workout supplement slash amino acid supplement slash essential amino acid supplement slash branch chain amino supplement slash um oh, what's the other one a multivitamin an intrashake um that's why there's so much stuff in this label it looks like the gosh darn bible over here all right now i want to talk about the ingredients and <coughs> excuse me i want to talk about the ingredients and what i think about this product if it's worth your money if it's worth your time and uh if i recommend you buying it all right so make sure you guys stay tuned okay label on the screen for you guys follow along with the yellow dot for one scoop you're gonna get about 60 calories uh and you can get a uh, ungodly amount of different types of vitamins by vi vitamin b whatever is and vitamin d whatever is and Pretty much, this is a multivitamin in a powder, uh, so it's kind of cool that they combined it, uh, multiple types of supplements into one product, so kudos to Steel Supplements for doing that. Getting into what I'm more concerned about, which is the L-citrulline and the beta-alanine and the betaine and hindrose. For the most part, those are about really the only pre-workout ingredients we're really getting in this label. Um, for the L-citrulline, you get four grams, the beta-alanine is two grams, and the betaine and hindrose is 1.5. So, one scoop, technically, you can hit clinical dose for the citrulline or the L-citrulline, uh, however you want to put it. Uh, technically, four grams is the bare minimum. Eight is the max, and you know on this channel, I like the max. I like to grade everything by that standard. So... Technically, you're going to want to double scoop this bad boy. Uh, and it even says on here, 
It has something like a suggested body weight guide. Uh, I didn't worry about that. I literally just looked at the clinical dose for the pre-workout ingredients since I was assuming this was a pre-workout product and uh, I immediately did uh, a twofer, okay? So if you will have if you have two scoops, the L-citrulline is gonna be clinical dose max at eight grams. Um, the beta alanine, if you put two scoops, which is gonna be four, that's gonna be outstanding. You're gonna get a really good grade for that. And for the betaine and hydros, again, 1.53 grams for two scoops. Uh, that's fantastic. Max clinical dose, 2.5 grams uh, off the top of my head. So honestly, if you're gonna be double scooping this like I did, this is going to get a great score. It's going to be a great product. Now let's get into the taste. Now, if you saw earlier, chalky, thick, not clumpy. Blendability was fantastic, but the flavor was very strong for the candy bliss is what this one is. I had two of these. Uh, chalkiness, thick, very sweet, uh, not sour, little tart. Um, I wouldn't recommend it based off of the thickness and the taste, but of course this is not a pre-workout. This is an intra shake slash five other supplements. So you can't really compare it to like um, Firefighter by Valor Labs or um, pre-workout by Own Power, all right? You can't compare uh, this to a traditional uh, supplement standard uh, pre-workout because it's not. This is a lot of different things in one. Now I want to talk about price because everyone's going to want to know how, uh, and, and I know one of the first things you're going to think about is, is this worth your money? Why should I get this? If you're saying it's all these different things, that sounds amazing. I should buy it, right? So retail, $70 off of the Steel Supplements website. And if I'm telling you to recommend, if I'm recommending two scoops, 40 servings for $70, you're cut that in half 20 servings of an intra shake slash vitamin slash aminos even if aminos even do anything anymore because science is saying otherwise um well that, that's for the bcas there this there is there is eaas in this as well and that's got a lot of hype and a lot of uh research going towards that right now that i have not looked at so i'm not gonna talk about it uh twenty dollars my recommendation so for my recommendation, 20 servings for $70. God, you'd have to do the math. You'd have to look at how much you're paying for your multivitamin and how much you're paying for your EAA supplement. Uh, and I guess maybe if you were taking like uh, glutamine, I know it has glutamine in here. So you could, you could say, well, am I supplementing my glutamine? You could combine all those things. If you combine everything that's in this product and you think, okay, what's if this is in a product I'm already taking, combine all that together, figure out if it's going to be worth your money, and then figure out if you need to do two scoops or not. Uh, for me, if you're going to be skipping a pre-workout and taking this, uh, I definitely recommend two scoops. But if you guys are taking a pre-workout ahead of time, since this doesn't have caffeine or really any of the other hard-hitting stims, uh, you could take that and then also take this as an interest shake. Would I recommend it? I don't think so. I think this is really expensive product. Um, steel, I had good pumps with this, but this also had a lot of glutamine. It had a lot of um, beta alanine, it had a lot of citrulline. I had great pumps. It had the extra carbs to give me uh, good pumps. It was full and vascular. Uh, so I had, honestly, honestly, I had a good experience with this product. Would I recommend that? I keep coming back around. Would I recommend this for $70 for 40 servings? Uh, no, no, I would not. I, I, I don't think there's a lot of signs. I've heard a lot of people say that the interest shakes don't do anything. Um, I've never really used interest shakes in, in my supplement journey, my bodybuilding journey, and, uh, and I'm doing just fine. So, so that's it, guys. That is my review on Steel Supplements. Adabolic, adabolic interest shake. Uh, slash pre-workout slash everything else it is all right so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you enjoy me in general just standing here talking about supplements and stuff consider subscribing all right thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one